this was created by us because we wanted to demonstrate how to fill it. But sometimes this happens when you're creating something, you've got a hole, or let's say you've got some weird stuff and you just want to delete those vertices and faces and start from scratch in that area. This is how you do it. All right, so we're going to have add edges. Now, Blender can only face or skin and a face, fill it in. If it's got three vertices or four vertices, but not more than four. So, the way we do that is we right click on a vertice, we come down, we make sure snapping is on. Now it's off, but we have to it's snapping. And then closest, we want closest. All right. And then what we're going to do is go back up to this vertice and we're going to hit E for extrude. Now, no, I hope you can see this, but I've just extruded that vertice. I've actually created a new vertice and an edge. And now I want to bring it straight down here because I have to fill up uh, this hole uh, portions at a time. Okay, so now we get close to the other vertice. We hold down our control button and bam. See how it snaps right there? If I bring the cursor over here, it snaps to that one. I've got my control button held down. And I'm just dragging my mouse around and it snaps to the closest vertice to the cursor uh, where the mouse is being dragged. So we're going to have it right there. You don't have to have your cursor directly on there. But you just have to have that round circle saying that it's there and then left click boom it is there okay now we're going to do it here we're going to extrude we're going to come down and hit control so it snaps to the nearest vertice we're going to connect that one and then here we're going to do it again hit e for extrude come down and hit Control. Okay, and then here we're going to do the same thing. And there may be a shorter way of, of filling in this mesh, uh, but that's a mathematical thing. And um, I haven't sat down to figure out, you know, how many lines I need to do and whatnot. So um, you may be uh, having more time on your hands to figure that out. I'm just going to go make all lines to all vertices and fill it in this way. Alright, so bring go down down here and, and and click the edge select. Okay, now we've got all edges. Notice no vertices are there. Now what we want to do is we want to create a vertice in the middle here. In the middle in, in here as well. So we need to right click and select that edge and then hit W and then it's going to subdivide. What it did is it subdivided, you can't really see it there, but it added a vertice there because now you can right click and you can select different edges, and that's because there's a vertice added there. All right, let's go up here to this one, and this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four. four of these suckers. Okay, so we're going to hit W and we're going to subdivide multiple and number of cuts. We want to put, I think, at four. Let's see if that worked. Right click. Yep, there it is. Okay. Added. Added how many? Because we want to we want this to look just like how we left it off, but you don't have to do that on your mesh. Um, if you just want to create triangles and then convert them to quads later, you can do that. Okay, so now here we need to divide it twice. W, subdivide multiple. You notice it left number of cuts at four where I used it last time. So we want to click the arrow uh, and bang it down to two and hit OK. And now you can see we've got um, three edges. 
first round of the way. And I see you got three edges now. You need two, two vertices. Same thing over here. Multiple, it's already set at two, and bam, there we go. All right, now let's go back down here to vertex select mode or control tab one. And now we have to select that. We're going to hit extrude. Snapping is still on, so we're going to hold the control down button so it snaps. Um, okay. Didn't work there for a minute, but now it did. Select the next one, hit extrude, control button, boom. Right click, select that vertice, um, extrude, control. Now, if you notice something there, when you click, you can have your cursor, after you selected that verse, you can have your cursor way over here when you hit extrude, and it is proportionally offset. So now, if I hold down the control, it's not going to bring up the circle because it's snapping is set to closest to the cursor. And so now, I've got to bring the cursor over here actually to uh, highlight the, the selected vertices that I want to connect it to. And that's, uh, and there may be a faster way to do this. I haven't found it yet, but um, this is how I'm doing it. Okay, now I'm going to fill these in. Um, I'm going to hit A to unselect all vertices. I'm going to hit D again. And if you've got a, a mesh that you got something behind it, you don't want to do it the brush way. You'll actually want to right click and then shift and then right click and then select four vertices that form a, a uh, square or uh, a quad. It doesn't have to be square. It could be parallelogram. It could be um, a quadrilateral, that's all, and then hit F, and there, you filled it, okay, now if I want to do the brush tool, I just hit BB, and then I can select them kind of quickly there, hit escape, and F, and make faces, auto, oops, what happened there, and that's not right. select it. Let's uh, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click, F. Hmm, that's really weird. Let's try that again. Okay, brush. Got four vertices selected now. And uh, hit F. And it says make faces. Weird. Okay, so I can't do it with the brush for some reason. I've got to actually shift click. This is why you don't want to accidentally hit hold. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there is vertices behind vertices. All right, so what we're going to have to do, um, hit A, hit A again, selects all the vertices, and we go to uh, mesh vertices, remove doubles, or we can just hit W and go down to the sixth one, which is remove doubles, remove 17 vertices, okay, there. Now A is unselected all. Now I can use the brush tool. I can just select my vertices, escape, F, boom. And my last little hole here. So I'll have a round of applause. We have done, we have filled, filled our hole in our mesh.